So here we're going to work through some basic handstand fundamentals. We're going to warm up the wrists, the abs, the shoulders, getting ourselves ready for handstands. So to start, let's warm up the wrists. Let's go into tabletop position. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And then starting off, we're just going to stack the shoulders over the wrists and we're going to rock the shoulders forwards, just getting a stretch going on and then coming back out just enough so that it takes the pressure off and then we're going back in. So we're just going to go back and forth for 10 repetitions. Go four more, four, three, two, and one. And then we'll just turn the fingertips out. So now we're gonna push into the upper back and we're just gonna take it side to side. And then we'll just take the fingers back to front and we'll just go into some wrist press-ups. So if you imagine keeping the shoulders stacked over the wrist, we're pushing the knuckles into the mat. And we're just trying to lift the palms off of the floor. Nice, and then we're just gonna come back down. So the temptation here is for the shoulders to go back because it makes it easier. So try to keep the shoulders stacked over the wrist and then push the floor away, come up onto the wrists. Wicked. Go through three more, pushing down, bringing it back down. So this will be strengthening your wrists. Just go one more back. Nicely done. And then let's just start to slowly make our way through cat cow. So we're gonna round into the body, chin into the chest. Try to round as much as you can. And then think like a small wave. We're gonna stick the bum out. We're gonna let the belly and chest go towards the floor. Shoulder blades draw towards each other as we gaze forwards. And then think of that wave going back. Chin into the chest, round into the upper back. Round, 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 tuck the pelvis under. And let's just go through three more. Push the floor away, two more, round it through. Last one, chin into the chest, push the floor away, round. Come back to a neutral spine. And then here we'll go into an active puppy pose. So if we come onto the fingertips and thumbs back, keep the hips stacked over the knees and then walk your hands forwards. Don't allow the chin or the chest to go towards the floor. Just actively drive the chest down as you press the fingertips into the floor. Feel like the armpits are wrapping in towards each other as you drive the chest down. And in here we can take small bounces into the shoulders, just gently bouncing the chest towards the mat. And then let's take it into Sphinx pose. Let's drop the forearms down, let the hips come towards the floor. And we're breathing here. And then let's roll over the toes. Let's round into the upper back. And then let's lift the hips, taking it into forearm plank. Let's lift the hips a tad more there. So the pelvis is gently tucking under. We're rounding into the upper back. Forearms are pushing the floor away. Taking the feet hips distance apart, we're gonna come into side forearm plank. So we're gonna come onto the outside blade of the left foot, and then the right foot's just gonna step in front. We're gonna take the right fingertips towards the ceiling. Reach tall. Now this left hip, we're gonna to try to take away from the mat. So we're working the obliques, the side abs, lifting, lifting, lifting. Breathing here for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, side forearm plank the other side, right forearm comes down, roll over onto the balls of the feet and then take it onto the outside blade of the right, inside blade of the left. And again, we're trying to lift this right hip away from the floor, that right forearm is pushing the floor away, the left fingertips reaching tall. We're going to go for another 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, four arm plank. Let's bring it back down. Then from here, we'll go into dolphin pose. We're just going to tiptoe the feet in. We're going to push the chest back towards the thighs. Relax the neck, and then we're going to stay there. We're pushing back, pushing back. 
And then we'll come into down dog, one forearm at a time, just lift up onto a palm, or both. <laughs> and then down dog, walk your feet back, a little bit back. Then from here, let's just walk out our dog. Let's bend into one leg straight and into the other. And then we'll find stillness in our down dog. Relax the neck, driving the chest back. And then think of rib cage drawing towards belly button, belly button drawing towards rib cage. And then let's go free leg dog. Let's take the right leg up, hold it there. So again, let's try to engage the core. Think belly button towards ribs, ribs towards belly button. We're pushing the chest back towards the thigh. The squares, are, the hips are square. Left hip pulling up, right hip pulling down. Point back through that right toe back. And then squeeze in the right bum cheek to lift the right leg. Push into my hand. Push, 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 push. And then we're gonna take it low lunge. We're gonna step the right foot in between the hands. Keep the hands framing off the foot. Let's drop the left knee down. And then from here, we can walk this right foot a little bit further forwards. And then we're just gonna dynamically start to straighten into that right leg. Nice. And then bend back into the right knee, send the left hip towards the floor. Bend back in, or straight even back into that right leg. And then bend back into it, left hip towards the floor. As we straighten, right hips pulling back, left hips pulling forwards, right knees pulling towards the floor, and then take it back. If you're a bit tighter in the hamstrings, just walk the hands back towards you or grab a couple of bricks and do it with hands on bricks. Go two more back. Last one. Nicely done. And then let's take it into runner's lunge. Let's roll over the ball to this left foot. Let's lift the left knee. Wicked. And then from here, we're gonna go into pyramid pose. Let's step your left foot in back. Wicked. So here, feet are hips distance apart. We don't wanna be walking on a tight rope. So maybe bring that left foot a little bit wider. Wicked. Again, if you're a bit tighter in the hamstrings, you're struggling to either straighten this leg or bring your hands onto the floor. Bring bricks underneath your hands. The right foot is pushing the floor away. This right thigh is engaged. Right hips pulling up, left hips pulling down. As we inhale, we're lengthening through back of body. As we exhale, the chest is pulling towards the right thigh. Hands are pushing the floor away, driving the chest back. And from here, we're gonna take it into standing splits. So we could bring the hands about a foot's distance past the right toes. As we bend into the right knee, shift the weight of the shoulders forwards, take the left leg up towards the ceiling. Again, we want to square off the hips, right hip up, left hip down. Try to really squeeze this left bum cheek, lift this left leg up, up, up. And then we're gonna to go toe taps. So we're just gonna dynamically tap the floor with the left toe and then straighten it. Keep this right leg straight back. Let's go four more. Push it back up. Three more. Last two. One more. And then let's step it back, runner's lunge. Let's step the left foot back. And then from here, we'll go high plank. Let's step the right foot back in line with the left. Wicked. So we're really rounding into the upper body. The pelvis is slightly tucked under, belly button draws in. And we're just gonna go down dog to high plank. So let's push up and back and then take it back to front. Let's go four, take it back to front. Three, two more. Last one. Nicely done, go back into high plank. And then let's just go shoulder taps. Let's tap the left shoulder with the right hand, hold it there. So we're really driving the floor away with this left hand. We're trying to push the floor away. And then right hand comes back down, left hand taps the right shoulder. Nice, and then let's just go eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, nicely done. Let's go back into down dog. Left leg lifts up this time. And again, think ribs to belly button, belly buttons to ribs. Squeeze the left bum cheek, lift the left leg up. Low lunge, step the left foot through. Right knee to the mat, left foot can go a few inches forwards. Again, bricks underneath your hands if you need them. Let's straighten into that left leg. 
and then let's bend back into it, sending the right hip towards the floor as we do so. And then let's straighten into the left leg, keeping the left hip pulling back, right hip forwards, and let's go three more. Two. Last one. And then let's sink back into that knee. Let's roll over the ball of the right foot, runner's lunge. And then from here, we're gonna go pyramid pose. Let's step the right foot in. Again, feet are hips distance apart. Left foot is pushing the floor away. Bricks underneath your hands if you need them. Left hip pulls up, right hip pulls down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Standing splits, hands come a foot's distance past the left toes, right toes go to the ceiling. Again, we're squaring off the hips, left hip up, right hip down. That'll be more intense for the left hamstring. And then we're gonna toe tap, right toes tap the floor, right leg goes back up. Five, four, three, two more. Last one. Runner's lunge, step your right foot back. High plank, left foot meets the right. Wicked. And then here we're gonna go into down dog. Same, same as last time, but in down dog position, let's take the right hand onto the left shoulder. And let's hold that there. And then let's take the right hand back to the floor, left hand, right shoulder. And let's keep that moving, let's go eight. Keep it going, seven. Six, five, four, three, two more. Last one. Nicely done. All right, forward fold, tiptoe the feet forwards. And then breathe here. If you're tighter in the hamstrings, just take a deeper bend into the knees. One vertebra at a time, slowly roll it back up back. Nicely done. Big breath in, reach tall. Exhale, fold it over the thighs. Bring your hands a foot's distance past the toes back. Here we're gonna take crow pose. Bring the knees into the armpits. Shift the weight of the shoulders forwards. Hold it there, Beck. If you're still working on crow, I'd recommend just staying here. Knees into the armpits, fingertips press the floor away. Just try to be as light as you can on the toes. Shifting the shoulders even further forwards, looking forwards, take your crow. Heels pull up towards the bum. Nice, fingertips and palms, what's keeping you here? And then high plank, step it back, wicked. Down dog, push it up and back. Three leg dog, let's raise the right leg up. Let's draw ribs in, pelvis tucks under, squeeze the right glute. Let's go high lunge, let's step the right foot through. Inhale, reach up tall. So here again, we're squaring off the hips, right hip back, left hip forwards, right knee stacking over the right ankle. We're just gonna do some lunge repetitions. We're just gonna simply tap the mat with the left knee and then straighten into that left leg. Tap the mat and then straighten. Let's just go three more, three, two, one. Nicely done, come up tall. Let's bring your right foot back a little bit back, just so we don't lose ourselves for this next part. Now we're gonna take warrior three. From here, we're gonna bring belly and chest onto the right thigh, hands towards the sternum. Again, we're squaring off the hips. So I want you to try to stay low in this right knee back as you shift the weight of the body forwards. Keep shifting, keep shifting. Try to be really light on that back left toe. And then squeeze the left glute to lift the left leg off the floor and then start to straighten and into that right leg. Let's lift ourselves up into warrior three, nice. We can keep a slight micro bend in that right leg as we draw the right hip up, left hip down. Now trying to think about our alignment in this position. Belly button draws to rib cage, pelvis slightly tucked under. We're pointing back through the left toe. We're squeezing the left glute. Now reach your arms forwards back. Think of your palms reaching forwards, shoulders up by the ears, wicked. Now stand in splits, let's bring the hands to the mat. 
push the floor away with the hands. If you want, Beck, take your right foot back a little bit, just so you've got a bit more space. Wicked. So here we're pushing the floor away. Arms are locked out, shoulders are up by the ears. Hips are square. And we're gonna shift the weight of the shoulders forwards. We're gonna to try to lift off of the heel of this right foot. We're gonna to try to come onto the ball of it. And then see if we can shift even further forwards, maybe come up onto the tiptoes. Nice. From here, we're just gonna practice hopping up. We're gonna soften the right knee and we're gonna to try to kick the right bum cheek with the right heel. Five, four, three, two, one more. Nicely done, runner's lunge. Step your left foot back. Wicked, breathe in here. Now here's similar to what we did earlier, but without the left knee on the floor, we're just gonna straighten and bend into this right leg. I'm gonna take extended pyramid pose. So let's straighten and then let's bend back into it. Straighten, keep it going. Three, two more. Last one. Nice, breathe there, breathe there. Pushing the floor away with the hands, drawing the chest back. And let's bend back into that right knee. Let's take high plank. From here, let's come into forearm plank, one forearm at a time. And then dolphin pose, let's tiptoe the feet in. Stay in there, Beck. So here, you could just work your dolphin pose, or you could set yourself up for headstand. So for that, drop your knees to the floor back. Bring the hands together, create a bind with the hands. Top of the head to the floor. Head can be slightly supported, or the crown of the head can be slightly supported by the hands, and then tiptoe the feet in. Try to get the hips over the shoulders. One leg goes up, and then we float it up. Push the elbows down, straight legs. Squeeze the bum, take the legs back behind you. There, and then it's just elbows and hands that's holding us up. Slowly come out back. And then come into down dog whenever you're ready. If you took headstand, just roll your neck out a little in your down dog. Wiggle down that mat a little bit back again, just so we don't lose ourselves in the shot. All right, free leg dog, let's raise your left leg up. Hold it there. That's it, tuck the pelvis under, draw the rib cage in, squeeze your left bum cheek. Higher lunge, just step the left foot through. Reach high. Left hips pulling back, right hips pulling forwards, left knee stacks over the left ankle. Pressing back through this right heel, strong right leg. We're just gonna five repetitions, tap the right knee to the floor, then straighten the leg, five. Four. Three. Two. One, nicely done, hold it there. Now let's go hands to chest. Let's shift the weight of the belly and the chest on the left thigh, keep the left knee bent. Slowly shift the weight of the body forwards. Try to lightly come off of that right toe as you straighten into the left leg coming into warrior three. Left hip up, right hip down. Belly button draws towards ribs, tight trunk. Squeeze the right bum cheek point back through the right toes. Arms reach forwards as if we're taking handstand. We're pushing the floor away in front of us. Hold it there, stay up, stay up, stay up. Reach forwards, reach forwards, that's all right. Now go standing splits. Create space between the feet and the hands. About a foot's distance apart, maybe. So now straighten into the arms, back, shoulders up by your ears, hips are square. Let's shift the weight of the shoulders forwards to lift the heel off of the floor and then come onto the ball of the left foot. Squeeze this right glute, lift it up, lift it up. Now we're gonna soften into the left knee. We're gonna to try to kick our left bum cheek with our left heel for five repetitions. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice, runner's lunge, step the right foot back. And we're gonna go into this dynamic pyramid pose. We're gonna straighten into the left leg. Five, keep it going. Four, three, two, Last one, hold it there, breathe. Bend back into that left knee, high plank, step it back. Forearm plank, let's lower it down. Dolphin pose, tiptoe it in. Stay in where you are. 
Again, you could work towards headstand or you could just stay here in your dolphin. Just stay here, back. we'll breathe. If you want to strengthen your dolphin, we could take dolphin press ups. Look forwards, back. And then think of the shoulders and the head going forwards as we take the chin towards the mat and then we push it up and back. You take the chin as close towards the floor as feels good in your shoulders because we obviously need to come back up out of it. Let's just go three more back, three. Push up and back. Two more. Last one. Nice, child's pose, just drop the knees. And breathe. Slowly come up to sitting on your heels. And then in this seated position, we're just gonna work some alignment before we take it over to the wall. So we're just gonna go into anterior and posterior pelvic tilt. So basically all we're gonna do is stick the bum out and then we're gonna tuck it away. Stick the bum out, anterior pelvic tilt, tuck the pelvis under, posterior pelvic tilt. And this is what we wanna think of, this posterior pelvic tilt. Ribs draw towards belly button, belly button draws towards ribs. We're trying to maintain this tight core and this pelvic tuck. From here back, we're gonna push the shins and the foot into the floor. We're just gonna lift up, hold. So come up a bit higher, hold, hold, hold. So in this position, so let's just come up shoulders over the, the knees. In this position, the pelvis is still tucked under the pelvis. The ribs are drawing towards the belly button, belly button towards the ribs. We're gonna keep this shoulders, hips and knees as we slowly lean back. Hold that. So we wanna to try to maintain this position, feel the glutes active, quads active, abs working as we hold. Can you go a little bit further? We're gonna hold it for 10. Nine, try to take the shoulders back so you feel it all working. We're not arching into the back. Five, four, three, two, one, and breathe. All right, we're gonna take it over to the wall. So here we're coming over to the wall. We are going to go into three sets of 20 second holds, kicking up into the wall and holding it. Then we're gonna come onto the floor and we're gonna do three sets of hollow body holds. So. We're gonna come about a hand's distance away from the wall back. We're gonna take one leg up, shift the shoulders slightly in front so they're just stacked over the knuckles. And then we're gonna take a big kick up, holding it up top. Push up tall, push up tall, push up tall. So when we're upside down here, 20 seconds have started, we want to have eyes looking somewhere in between the thumbs. We then want to push the floor away and lift the shoulders up to the ears. Then we want to bring the ribs in and then think about the hips. The pelvis is tucked under, we're squeezing the glutes. We're pointing the toes, we're pointing the toes. Then we're trying to push the fingers into the floor to get the heels to come off, which Rebecca's are doing. There you go. Slowly come out back. Nice, come to lying on the floor. So here you could face away from the wall or into the wall. To start, we're going to bring the knees over the hips here. We're going to have the palms towards the ceiling. We're gonna reach forwards, bring the shoulders and the head off, and we're gonna push the low back into the floor. And we're just going to hold this for 20 seconds. With the knees over the hips, it's slightly easier. There's less gravity pulling the legs down. If we start to take the legs away, more gravity starts to pull the legs down. It makes it harder for us to maintain low back contact with the floor. Three, two, one, slowly come out. Let's go back into the wall. So if you felt that you had lined yourself up really nice, but your heels just wouldn't come off the wall, you can set your hands up a little bit closer to the wall and it will make it easier for the feet to come off. But if you go too close, you'll find that you'll jump up and just bounce off of the wall. All right, three, two, big kick up. So push the floor away with the hands, think shoulders up to the ears. Then we think about the rib cage, then the pelvis. Then we squeeze the glutes, we point the toes. By the time you've done all that, like Rebecca's are now, the heels should start to want to float off of the wall. It's better to float off and then fall back on than come off and then fall all the way up. Slowly come off back, well done. Again, let's go onto our backs. We're gonna reach or stack the knees over the hips. We're gonna reach the fingertips forwards, bring the shoulders and head off and then 20 seconds have started. 
If it felt easy, just start to take the feet further away. You go as far as you want back. Low back is pushing down, ribs pulling towards the belly button, belly button drawing in towards the ribs, and we're reaching forwards. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, relax. All right, last round of 20 seconds. Shifting forwards, one leg up, three, two, big kick. All right, so now think floor, fingertips grip the floor, shoulders go up by the ears. Looking in between the thumbs, rib cage draws in, pelvis tucks under, point the toes, and then we're pressing the fingertips into the floor. Awesome, back. Doing really well. Nice, come onto your back. Doing well there. <laughs> All right, knees stack over, fingertips reach forwards, shoulders and head off, low back pushing down. Now let's take the legs further away. Let's take it all the way. Point the toes, 20 seconds have started. Keep pushing that low back down, push into my fingers. Nice. Ten seconds to go, mate. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Draw knees in towards the chest. Give them a big hug. And then we'll just finish with a lying twist. If you keep a hold of the right shin back, let the left heel go away. Now really pull this knee in towards your right armpit. Feel free to do as many more rounds of that as you want. Now left arm outside of the right thigh, right arm reaches away. Let's just push this right knee towards the floor, trying to keep the right shoulder down as low as possible. And then we're pressing that right knee down to the floor. Big breath in, big breath out, maybe go a bit deeper. Spend another 20 seconds here. Change sides when you're ready, Beck. So then right hand outside of the left knee, and then let's push it over. Oh, that's a nice click. <laughs> And then spend as long as you want in this lying twist. And then that'll do.